Now you say, believing in the heart, the mind is convinced. Now speak and apply. Amen. 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 So first is in the mind. Number two, how do they overcome? Are we learning anything here about that? Amen. Okay, number two. The second, which is very important. Refuse to believe what is not according to God's word. Refuse to believe if it is not the will of God. Meaning that let us stand on the word of God. Can the word of God be depended upon? Can the word of God be trusted? Amen. Can you really depend on what the Bible says? Yes. Hey, it's either we believe everything on it or we don't believe all of it. We don't just believe parts of it, no. We are full gospel, meaning we believe from Genesis to Revelation. Full gospel from table of contents to concordance. <laughs> full gospel. We believe every word of it. Okay? And we stand on it. When the Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, the word of God will not, will, will not, it means depend on something that everything will pass away except that thing. What is that thing? The word. The word. And it, listen to me. We cannot separate God from his word because his word is God. Amen. If there is one word that you need not to pray for the Allah, so just need to pray for the Allah. If you want to believe one word, believe every word that God says. And if it is in the Bible, believe it, stand on it, refuse anything against the will of God, against the word of God. Why? You have heard me say it again. One of my favorite verses in the Bible, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12, because God looks on his word to fulfill it. Yes, yes, he, he can see your tears, Yes, he can see when you cry, you're emotional. Yes, he can see that. But he will not give it to you just because you're emotional. God will not answer your prayer just because you shed tears. Hello? Diba? It's not the tears. It's not the emotion. It's not the eloquent words when we pray. But eloquent God. Some prayers are even wordless. God looks on His word implanted in our hearts to fulfill what we're asking from Him. Let me say that again. He doesn't look at anything. He looks at His word planted in our hearts to fulfill what He wants to do in our lives. Stand. How can we overcome it? Stand on the word of God. Believe the word of God. Have faith in the word of God. <clears throat> Let not anything move you. But the word of God. He said it, period. Every word of God comes with a period. The devil would always quote the word of God with a question mark at the end. Mm. But God puts a period to it. Hello? Amen. When the devil quotes the word of God, he quotes it with question mark. But when God quotes his word, he puts an even an exclamation point. Amen. Hello? Amen. Power. So how can you be overcome? Stand by the word of God. Lord, you said it. Lord, I believe you. If there is one thing you cannot do, God, there is one thing that God cannot do. He cannot lie. Amen. So when he said it, it's true. So how can we be overcome? Number one. What is number one? Start the mind. Number two. Stand with the word of God. Number three. <clears throat> Refuse. <laughs> Thank you. Refuse to be a victim of circumstances. What do I mean by this? You know, uh, there's a song, Que sera sera, Whatever will be, 
will be. You have many times hear people, oh my goodness, I'm in the right place, I'm in the wrong place. You just, you're just an accident, you're just in the wrong place in the wrong time, man. This has happened to you because you're in the wrong place in the wrong time. Listen to me. As believers, as sons and daughters of God, don't believe in accidents. That's why we don't believe in luck. L-U-C-K. We believe more than being lucky, we believe in being blessed. Hello? Because luck depends on chance. Blessing depends on God. That's why we don't say, good luck. No, God bless. That's why we don't say, oh, you're lucky. We say, oh, you're blessed. It's just, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just something that so casual. Okay, bye bye, good luck. God bless. Hey, you know I'm so lucky. No, no, say I'm blessed because being blessed is more than just being lucky. Because our life is not based on chance. Our life is not an accident. According to Romans eight twenty eight, all things work together for good. To those who love God and are called according to His purpose. So don't be a victim of circumstance by saying, Why did they end up being here? Why did they end up doing this? Hang on there. That, may, that might be part of God's plan in your life. Amen. Hello? If you continue to move. If you continue to struggle. If you refuse to be a victim of circumstance, your day is coming from a caterpillar. You will be a butterfly. Hello? If you refuse to be in the cocoon, what am I doing here? Huh? The caterpillar never, never, never stands still inside the cocoon. The wings are the product of the caterpillars. Original. You want to grow wings? Refuse to be in the cocoon. What am I doing here? Just filing papers. What am I doing here? Just filing this. Hang on there. Be thankful. Okay. Be contented. But level up. <laughs> level up in God's time. Be the caterpillar always moving inside the cocoon. You will grow your wings. Amen. Tell your neighbor, your wings are coming. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> your wings are coming out. <laughs> Your wings are coming up. Well, the way you said, para pala, kumi ko sa Isn't it true? Yes! Gusto mo maging uod na lang? Gusto mo palaging gumagapan? Ha? Okay, ito tala sa... Kung sinabi ng caterpillar, okay, magtutalaga ako, mamamatay siya ulit. Pero hindi siya pumaya. Hello? He refused to be a victim of the circumstance. I am made to be more than this. I am created by God to be more than this. You know, and God has placed us in the USA. A blessed land with lots of opportunities. Diba? You know? Omo oh, si Anne. You see Anne? Huh? Can I quit to Sakani Alex Dante? No my liars and don't sa heart healing house. You know? Ngayon, nasa Arcadia at isa sa mga marketing executives ng Ma Ma Marshalls, ha? TJ Max. TJ Max Arcadia. You know, married to equally. Uh, Blessed God. Parang butterfly lang. Yeah. <laughs> Refuse to be a victim of circumstance. Amen. We can do better. 
God has created us to be, not only to do, but to be even better. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. When I was in that hospice working for seven years, incidentally, seven means complete. I was working in that hospice seven years. I thought I was comfortable, and then I lost the job. Thank God for unemployment <laughs> for six months, you know? And I said, I always preach this. I believe what I preach. When God closes up something, it is only because he's opening up a bigger one. Amen. Amen. Closing up something is because he is opening up a bigger one. Thank you, Lord. I applied many applications to small hospice. I go, see, see. Parang dating Laker nag-apply sa. Parang dating Laker nag-apply sa. Washington Wizard. Because I used to work seven years to a, uh, to a hospice, which is very well known. I said, si, si, they will run after me. I sent all my applications to smaller hospice. Nobody accepted me. <laughs> no. You know why? Because I was thinking, if I believe that God will open up if God causes something to open up a bigger thing, what? Why am I applying to smaller ones? I applied. I applied to the biggest, to the largest, to the nationwide hospice in the United States of America. They accepted me. Wow. Huh? Well, Bigger benefits, longer PTOs, so that I can go home to the Philippines more. <laughs> and I was looking at my benefits this year, I have 196 hours of PTO. So you will not see me here often anymore. 196 hours of paid time off. Refuse to be a bit, refuse to be a caterpillar. Our wings are coming up. Amen. We're about to fly. We're about to fly. Amen. Huh? Refuse. That's the that's the that's the thinking pattern of an overcome of a hopper. Of a hopper, Nikkei. Hopper, Nikkei. Number four. Okay, I only have four. Keep on, keep on. Amen. I read this phrase in the internet that says, "How can you defeat a person who doesn't give up?" How can you defeat? A person who doesn't give up. Keep on keeping on. Because God is not a God of second chances. God is a God of many chances. Amen? It is not a losing situation. It is a learning situation. That's different. You're not a loser. You're a learner. Tell your neighbor, you're not a loser. You're a learner. So tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, your um, <laughs> Hello? Not that we are losers, we are learners. There's a big difference about losers and learners. This guy, getting out of the parking the other day, I saw his plate number. Holy oh, <laughs> I stopped and I shouted at him and I said, Do you know what Poggy means? Do you know what Poggy means? P O G I. It means presence of God inside. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, Poggy. 
spare him for us you know we are overcomers in our basis because Jesus has already overcome yes sometimes we will fail but we are not failures failure is just a situation it's not a person and failure is a lesson learned we are not dictated by our past we are learned we, are, we became learned by our past that's bad English. We were learned. Now, to time sa ating mga Amen? Right? Amen? Yeah. Now, in closing, do I have four or five? I have five. Five? Five. Are you are? Four. Five. In all of our victories, it's all about the glory belongs to God. It's not by might nor by power. It's by the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. Now, I remember when I was a baby Christian, we used to have, we entered the, the basketball league in our body. I'm not one of the players. And every time, my brothers are, and every time, the, you know, the, 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 the name of our team is John 3-3. Three, three. John 3-3. Three, three. Never won a game. Never won a game. talo. But every time the players will shoot and the, the shot will go inside the ring, they, they, are, they, are, they are instructed to say, Glory to God. <laughs> they did not shoot a lot of them, but all the shot that they have is, they say, Glory to God. So, how God, remember, God will continue to entrust us victories if we continue to give back to Him the credit and praise and glory due to his name. Remember that. You want it to be one time or you want it to be a life. You want it to be continuous. Give credit to whom credit is due. Give God all the glory. Give God all the praise. Amen. Amen. Now let me close my sermon with a story. A very interesting story. <clears throat> In the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, chapter 38. Sayang wala dito si Angie. Sayang wala rin dito si Tatay Larry. Because this story, wala well, dito si Connie. Well, this story talks about this guy named Perez. <laughs> Connie's middle name and she was made in uh, Perez. Si Angie Perez. Si Tatay Larry Perez. Do you know that the name Perez is in the Bible? Okay, dito yan. Genesis 38. Now it came to pass. Uh, Perez is the son of Judah. Judah is one of the tribes of Israel. One of the... <coughs> Twelve sons of Jacob. Now it came to pass... At the time of giving birth, that behold, twins were in her womb, Tamar, the lady, the, the mom who's about to give birth. 
And so it was when she was giving birth that the one put out his hand. In what? Umana, umana. I'm surprised. Habang naglelabor yung nanay, meron ng kamay na lumabas. <laughs> gusto si gusto yata ng mag high five. Me kamay na. It's I. Sabi nga sa isa ni Bibi ito. And this this verse says when this mom was about to give birth and their twins already moving inside and then suddenly may lumabas na kamay. You know? So, suwe. Hindi na. Basta. Lumabas na kamay. Okay. Next slide. And the midwife took a star scarlet thread and bound it on his hand saying, this one came out first. Kasi importante kung sino first born. Eh. Here in the Bible, importante kung sino yung first born. Because the first born will get all the benefits and all the the the, the, uh, the blessings, you know. Do you remember how? Remember, huh? remember how Jacob struggled to get Esau's birthright because Esau was the first born. So importante kaya when that hand went out, sabi nung kumadrona, tinalian niya ng lub, tinalian niya ng ano? Sinuli. Now, if you're asking me, where did that midwife get the, the sinulit? I don't know. <laughs> huh? So, when she saw that hand coming out asking for high five, the midwife put a thread on that hand. Sabi niya, all right, this one came out. Then it happened, he drew back his hand. Pumasok ulit. You know? Then it happened as he drew back his hand that his brother came out unexpectedly. Nagpalyahan sa loob. Nagkaroon ng MMA. Nagkaroon ng mixed martial arts. Nagpapalyahan yung dalawa. Unahan sa paglabas. Yung isa hope. His brother came up. Natalo yung isa. Sabi siya, Tiyan ko lang, tiyan ko lang. Lumabas yung isa. And that will happen inside the mother's womb. Thank God, I am a guy. Sige nga, sunod na. Para matapos tayo. Then she said, How did you break through? Perez means breakthrough. Wow. This bridge be upon you. Therefore, his name was called Perez. Tapos na ba mga ano meron kasi? Afterward, ito naman. Ito yung hindi ho, pero. Ito yung another L. Isa learn na. Afterward, his brother came out who had the scarlet red on his hand. And his name was called Sarah. 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 Let us be Perez. There will be struggles. There will be struggles pushing us back. But thank God we are Hooper and Caleb. We are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. Amen. So believe in yourself that you are the Perez. You struggle. You struggle. You struggle. Don't forget your struggles. They are the, those are the times where you learn the most. Hello. Don't forget your struggles because God was closest in the midst of your struggles. Push, 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 and be a parents. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Amen? Amen? Hearing from God, overcome it. Overcome it. Tell your neighbor, you're an overcome. You're an overcome. <laughs>
Father God, in the name of your Son Jesus, we declare. We cannot declare this sitting down. Come on. Let us all stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand and declare before God. I am an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. I'm beginning to grow my wings. I am a Perez. I am a breakthrough. I will break through. I will overcome with flying colors, giving all the glory, giving all the praise to my God. I am an overcomer in Jesus' mighty name. Let's give God a big clap offering. control our mind. Teach us to refuse <coughs> the whispers of the devil. Teach us, Lord, to cast out yes. all the thoughts, all the negativities, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Yes. Putting into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. Father God, some, many of us are sick and tired of being victims when we should be victors. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, Father God, level up your people that 2018, we will not just be passing by. We will not just be passing through but we will be overcomers, overcoming every temptation, overcoming every sin, overcoming every struggle, overcoming every difficulties, overcoming every challenges in our lives for the glory of God Almighty. Oh God, we thank you. We have a basis. Jesus already won. Jesus said, all power is given unto me. So Father God, we claim that power. We claim the anointing of being an overcomer. We claim the anointing of being the Hooper Nikeo. Hooper Nikeo. More than conquerors. And it begins. It doesn't begin, Lord, until we begin to think that we are who you said we are. The devil had been whispering to us what we should not be. And we are not. Lord, let us Refuse every temptation of the devil, but believe your word that we should be what we should be according to your word and according to your promises. And according to your promises, we are more than conquerors. To you be the glory. To you be all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. And amen. Tell your neighbor, who Hello, to lead us in our offering. Thank you. Now it's time to express our love to God. Philippians 4 19 says, And my God Amen. shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I love this verse. It tells us that God is our supplier our provider and now let us express our love by sharing our blessings with our text and offering that's great dear lord we thank you for giving us another chance to be together in your house to worship you and we thank you for feeding us with your work to do thank you lord that you are our supplier our provider and thank you that you continuously bless us according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. 
I pray that all Titan are free here today are out of love. Amen. Yes. We are 